this, is what if we could converge together inspection and engineering for inspectioneering? So here's an engineer. Uh, he's at a desktop. He doesn't need to put a hard hat on to go out to the site or get in a pickup truck. He's immersed in that substation, and he can, uh, he can navigate to where he may have some questions. For instance, look in this case, to look at the gas composition in the, uh, in the transformer in the substation and make operating decisions and maintenance decisions by being informed while at his desk. Or if maintenance in this case is about inspecting bridges, suppose as here that there's a spalling problem, your inspector is there, he takes a series of overlapping photographs with his cell phone, processes them this quickly and easily through a cloud service, and he can be on that phone back to the engineer who can look now in an informed way at the 3D characteristics of a potential asset integrity problem. He has another advantage, though, back in the office because he likely has the digital engineering models from the CapEx process, and he could call up, for instance, notionally here where the rebar is and decide what the mitigation or, uh, or emergency response would be in that inspectioneering scenario. Here are UAV professionals doing a survey uh, and using the software to process that into this reality mesh. And you might say, if the problem now is asset integrity, that doesn't look like a good enough mesh model to make conclusions for maintenance in this case. But the inspectioneer, he knows what he's got to look at based on what he's monitoring and the points of failure and so forth. He should prescribe what the inspection path would be, what the literally, what the flight path would be for that UAV, so that if all of these points are followed and the UAV would follow directly the engineer's instructions, instead you get a reconstruction as good as this, which would indeed suffice to help him with maintenance decisions. So we think in future and very quickly the way that UAV adoption is going, engineers can be responsible for uh, directly programming the UAVs for their inspectioneering purpose.